OK, on this video we're going to create a rule uh, for the Arsenal v Man City match this evening. And we're going to create um, the rule in the automation area. So we select the marker we want, we select automation in Guardian, and then we select create a new rules file. So the first thing that we need to do on this um, rules file is create um, the opening condition. And this will be to lay the draw. A rule type will be place a lay bet. Relative to the event start time, we're going to place the lay bet five minutes out. And we're going to do that once. And we have to nominate what we want to do this on. So we're going to say row index three, which is the draw, as you can see on here. And then we need to um, tell it what we want to do, which is to lay at the best market price with £10. And that's all that we need to do on that particular occasion. So we then apply that and add it to this rule command that we have put in here. So now we need to pinpoint the exit point. Now we, we will want to green out if um, the position moves into profit, i.e. if there's a goal. So let's apply that. So we add a new rule. We will say green out if goal stroke in profit. Obviously you can call this whatever you like. The rule name is a prompter to remind you what you've done here. We're going to green all selections and we're going to make that relative to the end play time because we need a goal to move the draw odds significantly. So we're going to do that at the off time and we'll keep this rule running for two hours. And what we're going to do here is we're going to run this rule a hundred times every 60 seconds. So basically every 60 seconds it will go into the market and check this condition. And for this condition we need to apply additional characteristics. So if I click on conditions here and say condition type we're going to say green all profit condition is greater than zero. In other words, the position that we've initiated, the lay the draw position, is now in profit. So that's an important condition. But what we're also going to add on here is we're going to say unsuspend time condition. So this is the amount of time since the market was suspended. So we're going to say, you know, if a goal goes in, the market will be suspended, it will be unsuspended. Um, and the match will get underway again. So we're going to say, to be safe, we're going to wait, oops, let's say a minute and a half, 90 seconds, since the market was unsuspended. And we can now apply that rule. And what will happen here is every, if we look back at the top level, it's going to, 100 times during the match, basically every 60 seconds, it's going to go into the market, it's going to check um, if the green or profit is above zero and if the time since the market was last unsuspended is greater than 90 seconds it will green out for you. Now if either of those conditions are not met then nothing happens. You've laid the draw and you will lose money. But you could actually add in for example a parameter to say just do this for the first half and the way um, that you would do this is you'd modify the behavior of this rule to say go from zero to 45 minutes or 50 minutes however you want and then you would add another one which is green at half time and then you would actually say you know at 45 minutes um, and then you perform the green all command so there's various elements that you're going to do now we won't um, put that command in there uh, for the moment what we will do is just leave it at these two commands here and this will basically lay the draw five minutes out and then green up um, if the following conditions are met that the profit that we are in profit and it's 90 seconds since the market was last unsuspended so finally we just need to name that and we will call this lay the draw if prof it table um, and that is underway that will now activate and um, if we uh, save that and apply it to this market um, we will uh, get get underway on that particular market. So you can see that uh, the order's gone into the market. If I double click on that, we'll bring that up because we're basically between five minutes and um, zero towards the start of the match. So you can see here on Guardian, it's indicated that we've laid the draw. And in the actual market there, you can see that that situation has occurred. And we can basically walk away from this now, come back to it a bit later, 
and if a goal is scored that results in that position turning profitable, BetAngel will have traded out. OK, so a goal has been scored in this match, and it's Manchester City that have scored the goal. And you can see that what has happened to the price of the draw, the price of the draw came in and has shot out at the point at which the goal um, has gone in. And if we go to Guardian, um, we can see the effect of what's happened. So you can see it's triggered here. And if we look at um, the log, it will tell us what has happened. So automatically it placed a £10 lay bet on the draw at 3.8. And now that the goal has been scored, you can see here it says Guardian detected that the market is suspended, which is where the goal occurred. Guardian has detected that the market is now unsuspended. And then it greened up by um, backing the draw uh, with £4.75 at 8. And the automation you can see here has triggered, and um, you can also see here that um, the confirmation of basically what's going on on the bet reference numbers and so on. Um, and then you can see here the net result of our activity um, in this particular market. So there you go, fairly simple rule set up, fairly simple trade to do, and you can see how this has been executed automatically without our intervention.